Hello and welcome back to Assertiveness. We are talking about sports culture and transformation. And just before we went for an ad break, Penwell brought up something very, very interesting. He said, the economy is currently sitting in the white people's hands. Right? Do we just let it go? Because now we're in a recession because we're trying to give it back to black people. You know, we've got Malusi Kigawa trying his utmost best, if we can call it that, to bring it back an economic transformation. Let's fight for black people. Let's give money back to black people's hands. If it's this bad when we're trying to give it back to black people, if that's where we have to start, let's not say it's bad because it's in black people, this is where we have to start. Does it also mean that in rugby we should be doing exactly the same thing and starting from the bottom and literally saying, you know what? We don't care about winning. Right now, we're trying to build the country's sports. Radical sports transformation. Radical sports transformation. Sport. Now, my problem with that is that sports is a business. Yes. yes. Right? Yes. It's a business. 100%. But look at Bafana Bafana. Bafana Bafana is going through a struggle just yes. to secure sponsorship yes. because of their losing ways. Yes. Right? Now, we're saying that with the spring box, with the, the what, what they, call, they call them clubs, the smaller, franchises. the franchises. Are we saying these franchises need to start building from the bottom? Let's get rid of everybody that is there and let's start picking players based on talent. Because you said if we pick them on talent, there'll be enough black people. Yes, yes. All right. Sponsorships pull out. Because it's, it. it's white sponsors as well. And it's white sponsors. They want to see white kids. When you're sitting in those boardroom meetings with those guys, it's white. The whole room is white. They want to see their children in the team. They want to see their children. Mm. Come on. I mean, let's even take it back to primary school. Let's go to the nearest. Let's break it down. Let's break it down. If, if they're going to go out because it's there's more black people. So, no, so I'm, saying, I'm saying. I'm saying. Actually, they must, no, but, they but must yeah. move and go to Australia. But here's the problem, one delay. Let's, let's take it to primary. I used to be a teacher. Let's take it to primary school level. In primary school, you already start to see the problem. Yes. Black parents are not interested in their kids' sports. Yes. Black parents don't bring cook sisters. Mm. White parents are doing for that. For many and reasons. For many reasons. Yes. And that's exactly where the, even the sponsorship starts. 100%. You find a black a, a white family saying we'll sponsor the jerseys or we'll sponsor the boys going to to, to, to but in to, on tour. Why are black parents not doing because that? Because remember that as black parents, first of all, Loma Muzana Cook sisters, Uma Mam will clean in like at that on that Saturday. Okay. On that Saturday. It makes sense. On that Saturday. Yeah. Secondly, is that at the end of the day our moms and fathers knew. My mom, I I had contracts to go to sharks and what the A degree. So the mentality at home. A mentality at home is already bad because they know. If it's a, I'll tell you, black parents are more acceptable to soccer. Yes. Because they feel it's a black sport. Yes. It's what they, they, they do. Have, they have experienced they have experience it. it. They've seen the success. And hundred yeah. percent. So with rugby, yeah. net cricket, yeah. you know how. And let's start cricket. It's expensive. Very expensive. Hundred percent. Yeah, but in rugby, it's very expensive yeah. because yeah. American aid bills is that or we have. I broke my ankles twice. I literally had to force myself. At seven years old, I broke my first ankle. At 10 years old, I broke my second ankle. And literally, I had to force myself back. The principal had to go to my mom and say, we need this man, he's a good asset. My mom literally said, yeah, get Okay, so, but now, yeah. that's what I'm gonna ask you. Now, white, you said, somebody said white boy, you said white boys don't have the skill. They might not have the skill, but they've got the investment. Yes, the resources. The resources, and their parents from a young age are investing in this lighting to become a rugby player at the end of the day. And they have a you have a, Yes, you have a black kid, Whose parents don't invest. They don't know. They, they don't know the sports. They don't even come and watch. But when it comes to the top, we must now pick him because now, now it comes back to what I said about no. genetics. Yeah. That oh, we don't we so don't need investment <laughs> in needs. I see needy. And we don't need one million. But it's but <laughs> but <laughs> but <laughs> I'll do everything myself. Uh, <laughs> here's my argument. I think, and this is once again playing devil's advocate. Yes. I think if we sort out the bigger issues, yeah. being economic, etc., yes. I think the rest will sort themselves out. Okay. I understand that government politi politicians are trying to fix everything from different directions, yeah. you know. But I, I think, for example, if you empower black families, black parents, etc., some of the things you worry about won't be, will be a non-issue, yeah. and that's when you can actually boys will be picked on merit. Yes. Kids won't have to worry about I'm at this school. I, I speak uh, twang, you know. I speak really mm -hmm. nice. I think if we sort out the bigger issues, the other stuff will sort itself out. And I think, without saying it, sometimes that's white people's argument. They're like, look, you want me, I work hard as a white person, I have a business, and you want me to invest and fund this black, Just that doesn't black. make sense. You guys sort out something else and then it will filter in automatically. Because I think their argument is as Afrikaans people, we were oppressed by the British at some point, okay. And we decided to get together and, and we invested in ourselves. Yes. And 
naturally, organically, we started taking over. So do the same and leave us alone. Okay, so, uh, well, okay, if we look at it in the sports context, we obviously cannot fix every black family right now and give them no, money no, right now. How do we then, how does government intervene in terms of building the black boys and investing in them the same way the white boys are being invested yeah. in so that by the time they get because i can assume that there's a lot of black boys who drop out or disappear yes. from the a lot you know i mean i i've, I've known quite a lot of boys who played craven week yeah. but somehow they fizzled out for many when, reasons for, for many reasons and i'm assuming that one of those reasons was purely because of that investment that was not started from a young age how does government then come in instead of this quota thing Let's fix the problem from where it starts. Let's get these boys to the right position. Let's get Wandile then also speaking that African so that he can relate to that coach. Uh, no. <laughs> That's the first thing. Why do I have to speak the oppressive language in order to get into a sport? But then look at it as an oppressive language. No, no it, language is. Is <laughs> it is. It no is. Let's be true. 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 Okay. You guys can hear what Wandile is trying to get to. I think that part would be too deep in terms of. I think what they're trying to do ne, with, uh, I'm assuming, black players, I'll use Sia Kulisi for, in, for instance. Sia Kulisi comes from a very, I won't say rough, but a very non-rugby boy, disavowed, but non-rugby boy line mm. type of thing. He got taken from a school into Grey High, which is, uh, which is very known for... Top yes. rugby school. Yeah. For, for, the, for the culture in rugby. Yes. Ne? I think the best they can do is to identify these boys, very good boys, at a very young age, mm. and expose them to a place where he will feel like I'm part of the best rugby players in the country growing up. Because yeah. you can't feel, truth of the matter of that. It's so you, it's so you can't feel like, yeah, yeah. I, you, go, you, go to, you go play against kids and you feel like I'm inferior to these guys. Yes. Black or white. It's the fact that it's kids, you feel inferior. Yeah. So what I'm saying is that it, it'll be very much deeper. It, it will take a long, long time to make sure that we identify one chance from a very young age ne? and make sure that they're exposed to a, a, a certain... Um, school, not school, but a certain um, culture. culture of the fact that I'm good enough. Ne? I want to, I want to, I want to get away from going back. I want yeah. us now to look at the 2019. Okay, uh, how do we fix that? The, the I think we can easily get there. Okay, yeah. with quotas, with, yes. with, with quotas, oh. not, not with merit. Um, quota with no, merit. Why, why do you want to? Why, why do you want to make quota and merit totally different? I'm asking you a question. No. Can I, I, can, can I, I can, I can, I can, I can. In the top of my head, I'm not going to do it now. I can yeah. name, I can name a 50% Springbok team that could compete against the All Blacks. 100%. And let's let's no. let's look. Let's go, maybe better. Maybe better. Let's be sponsors. Let, let, yes, 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 they will. The storm was the storm was the sponsor. Please sponsors. don't say that because the Springboks have been struggling with sponsorship in the last couple. No, let's say, so guys. Let's say well, let's, are, are you are you guys are you guys saying Springboks transformed winning will not get sponsors? Let me tell you something. The reason Epsa, for example, pulled out. The, re the reason Epsa pulled out. The reason the reason the reason Epsa pulled out was because. Uh, the Springboks weren't meeting uh, quotas. Good. Yes. Good. So yeah. similarly, so similar, no, uh, Blue Label's telecoms came in because they didn't care. Yes. They had no agenda to meet. Yes. So the, the argument becomes, if you take away government intervention, for example, if you take away, you no, know, we're trying to laugh with government, and you're now looking at pure white money, mm -hmm. would they Will pull out? Because like apps on its own, or a government-backed apps that may not carry the spring box on its own. They need other side sponsors. But, but, what if they pull out? But but this will this will this will this will cancel each other out. Guys, I'm sure I'm sure there are companies that are gonna back the spring box because because they are no, transformed. They, they, struggle, transformed. they struggle just now. Just now with, because with they were not team. meeting the transformation. The transformation. No, you just said apps no, pulled no, out. We're just my talking man, money. My we're man. talking independent yes, money. But Galugu, listen, listen. Government's not backing. Now it's saying white people, please just. So we are being held at ransom here. Is that what you're saying? That's that's the general. That's what makes rugby. I don't, in the country. I don't agree with that. The wow. money. So we need. Wow. So we need. So we need white people. We, we need majority of white people in order for the spring box to, to carry on. Okay, well. wait. Parks, let me speak. 2019. <laughs> yeah, look, it's, look, no, it's, look, it's, allow, look, allow it's, 2019. 2019. We have this this under 20 spring box that went down. Yes. They have full black line. Yes. yes. Black line, not back line. Black line. Which has been full. happening. Which has been happening at that. Yes. 100 percent. So. Then, for me, Koko, you asked, how do we move forward? Yeah. We move forward is that we need to have government intervention on structure and procedure. Because what happens is that these kids go in, and the white people oppress them and all that kind of stuff, and then they fizzle out, mm -hmm. right? And then the white kids propel, and they get into the spring box. Why every single year do we have that? Because... Government doesn't care about under-20s. They only look at spring box. 
We need to stop. The masses also don't care. No, please carry on. But they don't, they don't. We need to look at But for the growth of sports. Yes. Yeah. And there's a solution. Yeah. We look at e-enforcement, not on the spring box. Mm. It's saying... So, must I get spring yeah, box for now? Yes. We need to... a base. We put a base. And saying, in the 20s, we had what? I think the squad was about of 30, and we had about 60%, 70% blacks okay. in that squad. That's good. And we're saying, well, what happens after that? Mm. Yes. How do all these black boys never reach the spring yeah, box? What's, what's the... What's one, one of the... So, between so I'll say... Kufnaga, there has to be a succession program implemented by the government okay. forcing Spring Sorrow to make sure that these boys go I, into I, I, the 29th. I, I I and if we would have that, if we would have that, Coco, I'm going to make a second point quickly. Uh, uh, you guys have been making three points. Now I can't make two. <laughs> so, <laughs> why did you call the corner of the pork chop? But we need have a succession plan, and that's the issue. Because what happens is that through all these coaches and franchises, these boys are seen as, yeah, you were young, you didn't know what you were doing, and you made it. Now, when it's coming to Super Rugby, getting picked for the Springboks, they choose white boys over the black boys. I'm very confused. I'm, I'm very confused. I'm confused as you're saying, in the under-20 team, there's almost 60% to 80% black people. Where do the white people come from that are now playing for these franchises and... And the spring That's box. my question. Because what where do they pop up from? No, 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 because there no, no, are a lot. There's, okay, a white, there's, a white, there's a wide variety of, of, of players in South Africa. I, yeah, I that, that. Just because you don't make that 30, just because that. you don't make that 30 doesn't mean your 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 rugby career is dead. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Doesn't mean that. Scott works white and black. Scott Berg was a second team player. Okay, but he got selected up all the way to the spring box. The advantage, the privilege that he had, he was a second team rugby player. Went to Stellenbosch on a cricket bursary. Okay. Got injured, and after that was like, oh, and then the cricket bursary was taken away from him. And then I was like, okay, screw that, let me go play rugby. The rest is history. So are we saying that it was purely based on his skin color? Yes. I mean, and his privilege. I'm his saying, his I'm money. I'm sorry. If, if, yeah, so then give black yeah, people some privilege. That's all. Okay. And then you'll be yes. nice. That's all the quota. How would government do that? Quota system. Oh, oh, so why are you guys not saying that? No, I, I know. No, the, quota just, system, the quota system are forcing white people to choose black people in order for them to strive. Okay. Do you understand what I'm saying? So we are agreeing that we are now forcing these white people. They have to. That's what I agree. And, and my, mind, you, mind, you, mind you, 50%, 50% is not so far off. The, no. sec, the, second test, the second test we played against France, there were, in my head, there were six black people starting, which means we one or two players away, which we can replace with Urudi starting. We're already there. You are already pages. No, 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 no. I'm so, just saying we just need one more white. So we just need one more so black. One more black. Helanza to pack. Or Trevor Nyaka in the front. Or Bonami starts. Okay, so, so you were saying already. Sorry, we're Pedro. Always, we're always, always there. there. Okay, but what, what, did we get? Did we get there? Did we get? Did we almost get there through a quota system yes. or through organic yes. selection? Right, right, right now. Yes. Right no, now. no one in that team that got that started in that second test was was quota system. Mm -hmm. So they all got. No, over who? Name a white person. Oh, no, it's, it's not so much white, sorry. I was just saying, I, I don't think it's so good enough to be starting. Okay, so but who, help, okay. Me, help, help me understand. So you're saying the, the ones who are almost now, almost quota, are not necessarily quota. Are not necessarily quota. When you say quota, well, it's quota because the numbers add up, but it's not, they're not chosen. I'm saying they, they weren't chosen because we need six black guys. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Yes, no. Sia so, so is good enough, Opa Mahoja is good enough, Mapu is good enough, Skosan, Roo, Beast, Nyakane, Chili Boy. I can go on and on. So they're organic, right? Yes. So then what, if, if it's possible to do this organically, yes. why are we having to bring in a quota system? Because if we don't, then they start taking yes. them out. Then they will find means and ways to not, to not. Then, then you might go to 2019 and it's just white guys. 100%. Are they winning? We're winning now. We're winning now with the, we're winning now with the black people. We lost against Japan. We lost against Japan without the system. To interject, to interject on the succession, to interject on the succession plan. Thank you. To interject on the succession plan argument, you've got guys like Osturant that played two, three World Cups, or whatever. So we're in 2017 now. You're in 2019. Assuming we weren't close to meeting quotas, one of the arguments becomes. Some guys' careers are just lasting longer than other people. We've got Brian Aban who's trying to come back now. It's lucky, it's lucky because he's not a white player. But that becomes the argument of which of the good white players do you leave out 
We spoke about Rule probably in for Combrink, yes. who was injured. Combrink's coming back. Yes. If a Faf declared, for example, was not going overseas, maybe he'd be starting for the Springboks. Yes. Now another, you know what I mean? Now some of these guys, a Faf is young. Yes. A Combrink is young. Yes. How long are they going to stay at the Springboks at while you're trying to chase quotas? Are you going to drop those guys? Do you, you, you see how you just mentioned the white people that will take out the black people if, yeah. they, if they weren't injured? I've got the same for black people that will take out white people if, if, pe if people are chosen not on, on color. Current. For, 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 for currently playing yeah. Super Rugby. For instance, um, um, What's this guy's name? Oh, um, one. Ne? Chesekiel was taken off for, for Lano Mapu. Mm. Mm. I think all three of us, all three of us say Lano Mapu is better than Chesekiel. Agree? Yes. I want you the. Okay. the agree. 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 It's not good at the spring box, but okay. Ne? Ah. Uba, it's, it's sure, sure, that's fine. But it's super rugby. Right okay. Level. But but he's not been given a chance. Oh, no, in, no, 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 in order to try, oh. yes. So 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 no, already, it's, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. So he hasn't so. been good at the spring box. He, he wasn't. He hasn't, he hasn't, he hasn't, he hasn't been great. Been he hasn't been great. great. But but you take out yeah, Raymond, you take out you take out Raymond Rule. Put in uh, Ruan Komrig who's a better wing. Yes. Yeah. Take put in uh, Lalo Mapu then. If not Lalo Mapu, put in Lukanyo M. Mm. Give him a chance. Who's injured currently? Who's injured currently? He was in the squad. Um, there's the uh, is it Khalad the yeah. blue, the blue was fullback yeah ne? they put in Kutsia which I guess maybe Khalan hasn't been exposed enough He's to to whatever yeah. but every for every white guy that you saying must take out a black guy for there's a black guy where we can take out a white guy for is the transformed spring box gonna fix rugby completely it will currently it's currently fix rugby if, if if we had ten guys in the spring box ten black guys are you it's saying done. the problem is done credit. no no wait no. are they no. picked on credit. Oh, that no. becomes. So why are the issues? No, no. Yeah. Oh no, then, then it comes. Then it just wants to see color. Just 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 no, but then you see, rugby philo um, philosophies. Then it just becomes the, the reason we're behind New Zealand is because we still play, we still play. Um, must I say, stamkar? One dimensional. Yes. Rugby. When New Zealand, it's almost a guy can almost do whatever he wants within structure though. Yes. Yeah? Whereas in South Africa, it's almost, if we're in the 22, kick it out. No matter what, even if there's a cap at the side. The last succession okay. plan, yes. before we go off. Yes. Last succession plan, boys. Yes. yes. Scuba rugby. Scuba rugby. That's another big part where white people, white people dominant. have the dominant and they have everything. It's money. Yes, can I just finish instead of you putting your two cents? And all I'm just saying is that we need to, as Pak said, as Pak said, is that I beg to differ with you, but I agree with you. Pak said he wants black players to go into, be exposed to maybe either white schools, white dominant schools, yeah. who expose them to better rugby. Yeah. I'm saying we need to build the black schools because at the end of the day, we not every single black will be able to go into a white school. Mm -hmm. And, and we people that that's too long term. Yeah. What? Yeah. That uh, what you we, said, we, we talked about that. school rugby. You said we must change now. No, What's happening? My man, my man, my man, my man. Mm -hmm. Kuko, you first. Oh, you know how it is? Yeah. Okay. You must nip. The head. Shot head. Yeah, no, we had. We had. We said, go. Then you're yeah, strong by IKE kids, ZP. Then you lose the kids. Then you train the kids. So there has to be a, a, a radical transformation yeah. that assertive, like, assertifies what we want okay. and makes it clear. And white people must understand that but we're here and this is what we want. And we do that. Then after that, you can go back and say, okay, how do what we've just done, how do we back it up? for the next 60 years. Perfect, we've kind of run out of time. So just to close it off, you've already finished your closing. <laughs> so we'll go to Pedro and Pagamani. Just quickly, what are you saying to the young little black boy who's watching right now mm -hmm. and thinking, geez, I'm playing so hard at school level and I might never make spring box. Yeah, the, the truth of the matter is I think for the individual boy, yeah. he needs to look after himself. If it means learning Afrikaans, if it yeah. means trying to get into the best rugby school, do that for your career. Yeah. Once you get to the top, you'll filter down yeah. to whatever. So do that for yourself. Yeah. I think for the sport as a whole, we need to change the culture. Yes. That means whether you're a black boy or a black parent, start changing your mindset around, I need to be at schools, I need to be involved, and take it from there. Because I think also when our parents get involved, they'll start seeing some of our struggles. Yes. Um, and then we need to worry and be sensitive about gatekeeping. Because yeah. the masses, once we try to push the transformation agenda, they might be the ones saying no. We want white, whites back on the field because our black boys are getting hammered. Yeah. So we must be careful of that because it's happening in the economy as well. So let's not enforce solutions yeah. that are not necessarily general for everyone. Yes. Right. Um, I would say to a kid, uh, he must push, push more, man. And in, in essence, 
through the years of democracy and, and I think the fact that we can sit here and speak about black how blacks can do well in rugby yeah. I think uh, black people should look more on getting mentors when they get out of high school yeah. it's very important um, and yeah, man, push, like Pino said, I guess learn Afrikaans at the moment. <laughs> Don't fight the fight alone. I yeah. think that's the one mistake you can do where you can tell a coach yourself that you're picking guys because of this one man. No. Yeah. Don't fight the fights alone. People that have been there must fight for you and then you'll come through the system. Awesome. Thank you very much, guys. It's been a great conversation. Thanks, um, it's, it's funny because I actually had chats with a black rugby player who's playing super rugby right now. They don't seem to have the problems that you guys have just brought up. But it's okay. Next next episode, we'll bring the rugby players. Actually, you know what? We'll have a round table. We'll bring you guys and we'll bring these black rugby players. And let's hear, you know, from their side what it is that they feel and what they want to say. But as we always say on this show, if you are not assertive, really, you can't sit with us. <laughs>